when we are trying to get the Salesforce ID from contact or account or any other table, pulling the ID in the report will not suffice because it only returns a 15 character ID to us. Whereas we, if we look at the Salesforce ID, it is actually an 18 character ID. So to convert this 15 character ID into an 18 character ID, let's see what we can do. First, we'll just create a report which has contacts and accounts. We are pulling in the contact ID and account ID, which is the uh, default field provided by Salesforce. We'll see how to extract the 18 character ID from this. So let's save and run this report first. In order to get the 18 character ID, we will create a new formula field in the contact and account object. So go to setup in the object manager, open the account object, fields and relationships. We'll create a new field. It will be a formula field. Next, let's call this the full ID and it the output will is going to be a text next put in the formula so the formula we'll be using here is case safe id and the field we'll use is id let's check the syntax all good next and we use it in in fact we don't need this field to appear in any of the page layouts save that we do the same thing for contact in the contact object fields and relationships create a new field formula next Field ID will be full ID and the output will be text. We use the same formula, case safe ID, and the field is ID. Check the syntax, all okay. Next, not required to appear in any page layout and save the field. Now that we have the field, the formula field called full ID, let's use that in our reports and see the difference. So edit this report, add column, full ID. So now we can see we have a contact full ID and account full ID, the fields that the custom fields that we just created are also appearing here. So let's bring in the contact full ID, pull it next to the contact ID, the account full ID, and put that next to the account ID. Now, if you see the difference in the contact ID, you get 15 characters ending with LOA, and in the full ID, you get the actual 18 character ID, which is the Salesforce ID. Now, when you save and run this report and you export this report, you can use this output of the full ID to make changes and re-import the records back into Salesforce using the data import wizard by matching the Salesforce ID. So that's how you convert the 15 character contact ID into a complete 18 character Salesforce ID, which can be used to re-import and match records. Now, remember, if we go to setup, and if we use the data loader or the data loader.io in order to download the records from Salesforce, that those tools will by default give you the 18 character ID. You don't need to create a full ID custom field if you are going to export your Salesforce data using data loader or data loader.io. These are tools you can use to export the data and in the export and in the exported data using data loader.io, you will get the 18 character ID by default. So that's it for this video. Do like and subscribe to this channel. And if there are any topics or questions that you would like to that you would like me to address in my videos, do enter your questions in the comments under this video.